this is how you service the pole every week. So this is the on and off button, the star one. When you want to turn the pole off, you can push on the star button. And it's also the on button. And you just push it on. And you can hear the pump starting up. Okay. So about once a week, you're going to want to check here in this tube for chlorine. And if it's empty, it needs to be refilled. There's some chlorine tablets in that white bucket there. And also, there are pool supplies in this blue tub, more chlorine, and this is the shop. And once a week, you will take a bag of this shock, and using a pair of scissors that I am leaving on this table over here, Cut open the bag and go to the deep end. And be sure that you bend down low to distribute it into the pole. And you want to wait at least 30 minutes after you put this shock in before you get into the pole. But after that, you can get in. And make sure that you put it in when the pole is running so that it has a chance to circulate. There are two skimmer baskets, one here and one on the other side, and they should be emptied about once a week this time of the year. And then there is the vacuum cleaner. And you'll just need to kind of keep your eye on it probably about once a week. You will empty out the vacuum bag. And the vacuum will run automatically in the mornings from about 8 to 10. And it should cut itself on and off. And it's just a Velcro top. And what I normally do is empty the skimmers and the vacuum into You can use the hose to rinse it out if you want. And then you'll just put it back on. It is easier if the pole is turned off when you empty out the vacuum bag. But you can see it's just got two little sections inside. You put the little Polaris sign pointing toward the front and you Velcro it back on. Okay, the skimmer baskets, usually to make it easier, I sprang the lid of the trash and empty them checking for spiders. Let's see quite a bit of because it's been windy, stormy. And then just make sure that the skimmer goes all the way back down into it because it has a tendency to float if it's not down in there very well. You can also check the pump filter and if it needs to be cleaned out, you can see in it right now, it's okay. But if it becomes full, you'll need to clean it out. And to do that, you have to push the star button to stop the pull. and open the filter basket, clean it out, 
Again, I usually, if it's full, we'll put it into that trash. And then to get, reinsert it, you have this notch here, and it lines up with the notch in the back. And then I just put the lid on and hand tighten it. And then I push the star button to restart it. You might only have to check the pull filter maybe once or twice in the month because it's a pretty big filter basket and it doesn't get too dirty. It may take a minute for this pump to catch. And if it doesn't catch, then you'll need to turn the pull off again, fill this with a water hose, put the lid on it, and then restart it. And then that will prime the pump. This is a system I've set up to automatically fill the pool. It's on a timer, it goes off at five in the morning. As long as you don't turn this off, the water hose off, it should work fine. It's been hooked up for about six weeks. There's not been any issues so far. If for some reason the pool does become low, then you're going to want to refill it with just the black hose, which is again hooked up right here. You can see that the pump did catch, and now it's working normally. There will be bubbles coming out of the pool, just cleansing the lines, the air out of the lines. And that's pretty much it. I've left you written instructions that will help with this video.